YouTube, what is going on? It's your guy, Kent Pool Collect. We are hanging out here in the toy room, getting ready to talk about a wave of figures. We got to see these in person at Legion's Con 23, at least uh, like the prototypes, everything leading up to the figures, but that's right, you're here for All In Mythic Legion's Rising Sun, and uh, it's your guy, Kent Pool Collects, let's talk about it, let's rank these figures, and uh, I'm going to tell you which figure I'm the most excited for with this wave, and which figure I'm the least excited for. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about getting these figures ordered. Come on back, it's your guy, Kent Pool Collects. Let's go. Welcome back. So I got uh, the computer pulled up right now and we are looking at these beautiful, beautiful figures. A uh, great time at Legion's Con 23. Got to see a lot of these figures. Was up there during one of the reveals which was awesome, awesome, awesome. Took a ton of pictures. So let's talk about this all in. Uh, just getting some information from Legion's shop, Store Horseman, part of uh, Source Horseman. There's a link, takes you to Store Horseman and uh, you can scoop up all the good stuff you are after so we are talking mythic legions rising suns for uh 2023 reveals got all the figures there let's see i am just trying to find all right so <clears throat> if if you want to pre-order this wave, you got, uh, I want to say, 11 figures, if you count uh, the bear and the unicorn. No. Yeah, counting the bear and the unicorn. Yeah, that's uh, 11 figures. You also have two weapons packs. And if you purchase the all-in directly from Four Horsemen Studios at Store Horsemen, you get a bonus dwarf head. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to read. Note that this is Deco is only available as a bonus item in the Mythic Legions Rising Suns All-In Package. Okay, so that makes sense. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure I, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't miss anything. So yes, if you buy directly and do the All-In from Store Horsemen, you're going to get a bonus dwarf head. There are 11. Well, I mean, if you count the dwarf two pack, 12 figures, okay? Just uh, playing with the math here 12 figures, because uh, you get both of the dwarfs and then uh, take the Baron Unicorn out. You're looking at 10 figures, the bear, the unicorn. Pretty awesome, pretty awesome. 
just so y'all don't get any sticker shock the starting price for all of those items bonus head two weapons packs 14 figures if you include bear and unicorn you're looking at 550 before tax before shipping so let me know in the comments are you a regular purchaser of uh the all-ins and uh are you excited for this release getting that bonus head uh, again, when you purchase directly from Four Horsemen, you're going to get an awesome price. And these figures get shipped out to the people that make the orders prior to uh, retailers getting the figures. So this is the quickest you're going to get your hands on these figures now you don't have to do the all-in but again the way all-in is kind of packaged and everything that's going to be the fastest way to get the figures because if you buy like an individual figure they're probably going to work the all-ins and then get to kind of the figure and sending the figure so i would say the all-in is still your fastest route to uh, potentially getting these figures you're getting the bonus head which i will mention if you do an all-in with retailers they will also have a dwarf head but it's going to have a different uh, deco to it so just a heads up there there are tons of awesome awesome retailers so make sure you check that out on Source Horseman, your approved retailers. If uh, if you want to go that route, uh, a lot of the approved retailers have some great options for uh, kind of paying for the figures and uh, when you need to pay for the figures. So that could be helpful for a lot of people out there if you are in no hurry or you know just don't have the funds it's like christmas time and everything so it is a busy time of year a lot of other things expenses things coming up things aren't getting easier as far as like inflation and all that crazy stuff so i get it i definitely get it but uh these pre-orders are available until january 14th of 2024 and the deadline is 11 p.m. Eastern. So that is your last opportunity to pre-order these directly from Four Horsemen Studios. All right, so I want to break it down and I want to talk about these figures. We're looking at, I'm going to say 11 because we'll just count the Dwarf 2-pack. You know, it's a sampling, it's a release, so we'll say 11. So we're not counting the bonus head sculpt, which is uh, really cool. Definitely a nice little add, especially with our two factions that are featured. You got uh, Sons of the Red Star, you got our Noble Bear, the dwarf would be perfect with the noble bear and the two packs. And we're also not counting our weapons packs, which are cool in their own right. And a lot of accessories to uh, add to the shelf for sure. So I'm going to do my best to uh, say the character names. Hang in there with me. I'll uh, I'll describe them as well. Maybe we'll put a little picture up in this area so we can kind of keep track at home. So out of all of our characters, 11 offerings. Where am I going to start? 
I would say number 11 for me is going to be, and that didn't work like I was hoping, is going to be our Dark Elf. And she is uh, Marisha Silverhorn. So at some point I will get this figure and there are the possibilities. There's like two alternate, three alternate head sculpts. So if you are a fan of the Dark Elves and want some female figures to add to that faction, I think that's great. If you're just looking to build up your Red Star faction, then you probably only need one of her. Uh, this is an awesome figure, and like I said, comes with quite a bit, but as far as the excitement, somebody that I really want on the shelf, I would say I am in no rush to pick her up. I can get her eventually, and if I want to kind of do some alternate Dark Elves, there are options there. Currently, I have a few Dark Elves in the collection, but uh, I just have them kind of hanging out with my vampire, vampire-ish family. So I wouldn't say there's a huge rush to go out and get another, another Dark Elf. Because again, I think eventually I can pick her up and that's going to be great. So that's why I got her at 11. Uh, she is a 2.0 body. If you're interested in some of those pieces and maybe doing some pop and swap, which is always fun. All right, so this next character, this one's gonna be wild. This is Yoshisana Kari. And uh, awesome, awesome concept. Love the armor. Uh, Monkey King was an awesome release in 23. Uh, I should have done him as, uh, you know, just a... Uh, awesome awesome figure drop this past year uh i like him but i just don't see where i would like army build him he does come with quite a bit of accessories pieces loaded with hands which is uh great but i just see him as a kind of one figure pickup and just so he can fill in some of the ranks of uh, the Sons of the Red Star, which I think he'll fit in very nicely. Kind of a, you know, strong character for kind of building up that faction. So with just picking up one, I don't think I'm in a huge rush to go out and uh, get him. And again, just an uh, awesome figure, awesome pieces, but just not somebody that I feel like I got to, uh, got to have, got to have like day one. So he is number 10 for me. All right, number nine. This could be a little bit of a surprise. Uh, we're going to go with our big boy Minotaur. This is Regagon. Regagon. And uh, I know tons of excitement uh, with this guy being uh, kind of on the package for years. He's a uh, ogre scale. Uh, if y'all have noticed, I don't typically go too crazy with the ogre scale uh, i think i have kind of like our 
vampire ogre scale. I have uh, the kind of horseman, the equidon. So it's just not a scale that I'm in a rush to scoop up. It is cool to see a bigger take on the Minotaur. And uh, he does come with a lot of really cool accessories and some like new designs and stuff as far as like those head sculpts that uh, attach to like the chains and stuff. So they definitely did some cool things to uh, make this guy kind of fresh and new for the ogre scale. But uh, like I said, the ogre scale just hasn't been my top thing. So he might be another one that eventually I pick up. Maybe uh, some of these higher area figures will, uh, you know, once I see them in hand, maybe uh, it'll change my mind. But uh, right now he is at number nine number eight which i'm sure i will pick up but uh again it's just i don't know that i am a huge rush to me and this is uh almost like an accessory but i'm talking about uh umbra which is the deluxe steed this is the dark unicorn which again it's awesome but I think it's awesome because it kind of fits in with uh, scapular and I don't know if I'm gonna have scapular riding or if this is just going to be kind of one of those pieces that he's just kind of showing off like look at me <laughs> I got this uh, awesome awesome unicorn uh, don't get me wrong, it's awesome. I love the design. If you don't want it as the unicorn, it is easy to switch out and make it into the horse, which I think is really cool. Uh, I don't know if I did the horse, if I would want to change out like the saddle and some of those items, but you have a lot of options. I have a lot of horses <laughs> for the time being, but uh, this is something, like I said, not in a rush to pick up, but uh, maybe eventually throwing this kind of in the back with uh, scapular, or maybe I'll just decide that he needs to uh, ride, ride it, possibly, possibly. So yeah, that's... Uh, number nine let's go for number eight and hopefully i don't screw this up this is diz pator which i really liked this guy when we were watching and they're at legions con at g con just uh, awesome, awesome options with this figure. You can do uh, like two arms. You can kind of do the forearm look. He uh, comes with a few swords and everything that uh, I like and I think are fun designs. He's got that torch with uh, like the green flame and everything. And uh, it's a really cool design. And to be honest, when I was there at G-Con, I'm like, hey, you know, with the mask and everything, you can kind of change this guy up. And uh, maybe this would be a cool little army builder. But I just don't know that it's a rush to go out there and scoop this up and make it an army builder. Like maybe, uh, maybe eventually I would do like three of them. Maybe have the unmasked helmet kind of be this 
and then maybe doing like two with the face mask and that uh, it's like a heavy piece and maybe just have them be kind of like henchmen or kind of guards kind of like he's leading those forces that might be a lot of fun for some reason i feel like one of them should have the forearms and then maybe the other two just kind of looking a little more normal like you have kind of like this supreme one this next level like here's the leader here's the general and then here's these more faceless looking like emissaries i think that could be a lot of fun but uh again i don't know that it's like day one i gotta have them army build them i think it's something that uh, i could potentially pick up down the road and uh, i think would be a lot of fun maybe uh getting him at first and then maybe a few extras down the road all right let me see make sure i'm keeping up with my math so we got how many left we got one two three four five six left six left to go next up for me uh this was an awesome awesome reveal and it is the exiles from under the mountain two pack i think it's great that we're getting a two pack you are getting a ton of stuff with uh with the dwarfs you got head sculpts you got helmeted head sculpts pauldrons axes hammer i uh, got the torch so that is a lot of cool stuff where you can build out at least the two figures uh for me i just recently started scooping up a few dwarfs so not a huge rush to uh get these dwarfs but i think they have a lot of great things going for them and uh, they look like a couple of cool figures I know uh, all the dwarf fans in attendance were uh, very, very excited for these pieces. And uh, just to reveal the name, a lot of cool stuff going on there. Uh, eventually, I wouldn't mind having this two pack just to kind of build up some of my different dwarfs and uh building a little bit of the noble bear so it would be cool to get these two on the side i am excited to see what people do as far as pop and swap the other cool thing is uh the female dwarf basically being 1.0 parts so will people kind of build her out to be another female warrior? That could be a lot of fun. Excited to see kind of what people end up doing with that two-pack. All right, we're getting down to it. Down to it. I'm excited. Some, uh, some really cool figures and... Uh, like I said, we are getting down to it. So this is going to be like the last five. I would say next up is Broder. Broder has uh, some great details to him. Some uh, different items with like the boots and just how this figure is uh, built out. I'm also thinking of um, how you got our different uh, skeleton stuff coming out with uh, Necronominus and how you might be able to use some of these parts to kind of work with uh, some of the skeletons and some of those like Ravengers and stuff that we're going to get with Necronominus. 
So some potential crossover and pop and swap. Uh, you got horns, helmets, beards. Uh, I love uh, this new spear that we've been getting. Uh, we got the spear with uh, Vorgus Varimus 2, 2, V2, V2. <laughs> and uh, looks like we're also going to be getting that with uh, Boulder, which is cool. It's an it's a awesome design, great weapon. He's got the axe and uh, some other cool items with him. So, and this guy, the dwarfs. You can uh, easily get those weapons packs and uh, really get them going and set them up. But yeah, I like Broder. That is one that uh, I'd like to get my hands on early and uh, possibly review, showcase that figure. Because uh, a lot of fun, a lot of fun story behind it. So pretty uh pretty excited for that all right last four last four all right i might lie a little bit <laughs> um because i think my number two is gonna surprise people and part of it's you know there's a good reason but at uh number four i'm gonna go with atlas uh, I have never owned an Atlas, so this is a great, great offering. Um, this, like, I want to say fan service, but fan service done right. A lot of people said we would get Atlas 2, and sure enough, we did. Did anybody expect him to be uh, this awesome i don't know but you have the ability just to give him two different looks so you have his like gladiator look with the helmet and uh just kind of how he is uh in the gladiator arena battling and then you just give him like the full-on atlas has returned to take on the forces of evil bring on the next great war, the second great war. And uh, he just has that amazing barbarian gladiator hulking of a uh, individual just ready to go out and uh, destroy all the baddies, which is a lot of fun. So I'm excited for him. Uh, if four seems a little high, you know, I get that. I definitely get that. And uh, he is definitely one of the top figures that I want from the wave. The question being, do I need two of them? I'm gonna be honest, if I scoop up two Atlas, I am probably gonna make the gladiator style atlas into a skeleton if i'm being honest <laughs> if i'm being honest uh i would probably want to deck him out and kind of make him one of the fallen champ champions and i think that could be a lot of fun i'm hoping that uh our new skeletons in necronominus will kind of play into that with pop and swap so we'll have to see how that uh kind of plays out works itself but i am excited for uh the possibility of the fallen champion atlas even if it's just uh like a spell or a nightmare type of look right number three how about Scapular! I am so excited for this figure. Uh, just like Atlas, I have never owned the version 1 Scapular. It has been high on my wish list, but I just couldn't see spending the money that uh, Scapular typically goes for. 
So part of me was hoping, waiting for this announcement and uh, to be able to scoop up this figure. And uh, to be honest, after seeing this guy, I really don't need uh, the version one. I am so excited just to have this guy in the collection. Love what, uh, what they've done with him. And next level, making this a deluxe and giving you the opportunity to outfit the figure, which basically makes it into a uh, a different look with his uh, alias as uh, Amir Kaspar, which is awesome. What an awesome, awesome tribute. But I would say this is a two pickup because I want him decked out being full on scapular and I want him to be decked out as Amir Kaspar as well. So I don't know how I'm going to display them, but yeah, I don't know. Scapular, maybe I'll just put him with uh, the rest of the skeleton. Uh, I'm interested to see how the book and his story kind of plays out because I could see where maybe uh, maybe he's not down with uh, Necronominus, like getting rid of all the things like unicorns and you know money and <laughs> some of the stuff that he uh, seems to enjoy so maybe it could be a switcheroo a little face turn and uh maybe he's just pretending to be down with necronominus and uh easing his way in to take down the god to get things back to status quo where he can make his money and fortune and uh, just chill and play his uh, dragon flute. No, that's a blowgun. <laughs> so very cool and uh, just an awesome reveal. So excited, so happy to uh, see this guy and uh, just shows you what uh, version two can uh, bring to some of these main characters. All right, I said a little bit of a surprise with two, and I think some of this is uh, because I actually got to hang out at the table for the reveal, and this is a beautiful figure. Um, I wanna put her up just a little bit compared to the last two uh just because this was like a i don't want to say out of nowhere because everybody was hoping for a 1.0 female figure but uh neve is just awesome i like the storyline um you know her being like a celebrity fighting in the gladiator pits and uh having like a little angst and uh maybe she's gonna take out uh atlas because she's kind of lost a little bit of her status and you know she was actually celebrated and enjoying the gladiator life and it all got taken away from her so that is pretty cool. She's a frost elf, which I don't know that uh, have frost elves came up. I'll have to double check on that. Double check. There's one person I'm thinking, but I don't, uh, maybe she is. Let me know in the comments. Let me know. 
but uh, I just like that element of uh, her being a Frost Elf, being 1.0 figure. Accessories are awesome. She's got like these arrows into the shield. She's got a cool shield, sword, axe. This is uh, this is a fun figure. And again, uh, maybe I'm a little spoiled because she came out and got to see her right in front of me as part of the reveal and just kind of really love that moment. So this is one of the top figures that uh, I really want in my collection because uh, partially because of that moment, but ultimately because this is an awesome, awesome figure and I am looking forward to it for sure. All right, so I don't think number one is going to surprise anybody. The bear, the bear, the bear. Even though everybody was like, man, I hope we get the bear. I hope we get the bear. Um, this thing is awesome. I feel like this is a piece that is going to go outside of the Legion's community. Uh, a lot of people I could see getting excited for the bear. I feel like the bear is going to surprise, catch people's eyes. And I've already heard people being like, I need a bear down with the saddle. I need the bear up, which is uh, fantastic. Awesome, awesome character. I think there's going to be pretty cool storytelling behind it, which is, uh, you know, another awesome element. It's great to have these uh, really cool figures, but to be able to do some storytelling is great as well. So you've seen my tops. Let me know in the comments if you want to tell me your favorite figure from the wave. If you want to go all the way through and tell me everybody, uh, hey, put it down in the comments. I really appreciate it. Just a reminder, you have until January 14th, which uh, looks like that's a Sunday, 2024 20, at 11 p.m. Eastern to scoop up these figures. If you get the all in, you get the bonus dwarf head from ordering the all in. You can purchase these figures individually. And uh, yeah, if you order directly from the horseman, you're gonna get a great price and you have the best chance of getting these figures first. I hope you enjoyed the video. Smash that like button, comment, and share. If you haven't already, jump into Ken Pool Collects. We're having a lot of fun here on YouTube, also over on Instagram, Ken Pool Collects. Thanks for all your support. Thank you to our channel members. Y'all are awesome jumping in. I, uh, I really appreciate that. Until next time, always be hunting. And if you're not out hunting, have fun collecting.